Hello, my name is Paige Friesian from Argyle Alternative High School, and what I'll be talking about today is rainforests. Rainforests are forests that have very high rainfall, normally up to 68 to 78 inches of rain per year. The moisture released in these rainforests help grow our crops thousands of miles away. They are also home to important plant species. In fact, over half the world's plant and animal species live in rainforests, and over one quarter of modern medicines have been discovered in rainforests. Rainforests are responsible for up to 28% of the world's oxygen turnover. Did you know that the trees act as a carbon store? How this works is that the trees absorb carbon dioxide through photosynthesis. Healthy rainforests absorb up to 10% of human carbon emission each year. Tropical rainforests are spread out through the equatorial zone. The biggest rainforests are located in South and Central America, Sub-Saharan Africa, and Southeast Asia. Temperate rainforests are rainforests that are not located in the equatorial zone and have an annual precipitation of 1400 millimeters. Temperate rainforests cover such regions as the Pacific Northwest, Western Europe, and South China. Deforestation is when forests are removed to make way for agricultural and fuel sources. Typically the trees are burned down. Over half of the deforestation is carried out by poor farmers. 15 million hectares of tropical rainforests are lost every year an area larger than the size of England. Deforestation started on a global scale in the 19th century with the majority of the United States being cleared. One and a half acres of rainforest are lost every second due to deforestation and more than 56,000 square miles of forest are lost every year. By educating students in schools about deforestation we may have a possibility to change our future and future generations to come. There are certain organizations such as the Sierra Club that are working towards reforestation and cleaning our environment. World Wild Fund for Nature is an international non-government organization that helps reverse the destruction of our environment. You can contact corporations that are contributing to pollution and ask them to change their ways of how they act on deforestation. Contact your member of parliament to see what they can do to stop the destruction of forests. You may not think there are many ways you can stop deforestation in its tracks, but in fact, there are many ways you can prevent it. It is in your power to make a change for our environment.